and welcome back to another one of my videos. Okay, I've been following my friend's team, Bull's team, in the Zwera 24-hour race, Lambretta. He's the only Lambretta that's competing in that 24-hour race, and it took an absolute beating. I'll show you some pictures throughout this video, but what we're going to do is going to help him. We're going to give him a little bit of sponsorship with a set of my nice cowlings. So I've been working so far on the, uh, the cylinder head cowling. So that's coming out. We've uh, reinforced the uh, important parts with some carbon fibre. That's going to help things a little bit because he completely ripped out the centre here he's on his uh, metal one. Metal ones just resonate. The resonation starts to create cracks. When you're thrashing around a track in a 24 hour endurance race, you need reliability. So I've reinforced the neck here with carbon fibre and here where the bolt goes with proper carbon fibre. Right, well it's another day today because the uh, battery went flat so we had to stop filming. Different t-shirt, blah blah blah, same old hat, but never mind. Today I'm going to put uh, the uh, strengthening washer inside the cowling and then we're just going to finish things off and hopefully you'll see the finished product. Right, this is quite sticky stuff to be working with. To be honest, I hate uh, resin and fiberglass and carbon fiber and it's just horrible to work with so this shouldn't take long just mix this up and we'll just pour a bit in over the washer ba -ba -bum. right the fly was just about done so the fly will cover rather. So I need to test it on this um, MMW fan that's already on this engine. So we'll have a little check on here and pop this one off because it's not screwed down. Get it off and uh, slide this one on, which is our carbon reinforced one, and uh, see how that fits. A little less flexy than the other one, a bit more rigid, somewhat of a tight fit. Right, so 
yeah, it seems to have clearance. I think the front could do with a bit more air actually. It's not fully on. Wow. That is a tight fit. I think I might have to trim that down a little bit so it gets in a bit e easier. It's just catching on them little bits there. So we'll trim that now. Right, I like to be able to get my flywheel cover on and off without taking the head cover off. Because with the metal ones, you normally have to take the head cover off to try and get it out. And uh, on a track, that sort of wastes time. So if you have to mef mess with your ignition, it's good for this to be able to come off in one piece. So I've trimmed it a little bit now more. So hopefully it will fit in. Because the good thing about fiberglass is it flexes better. So I'll just try now and see if it goes in a bit better. Oh, that's way better. Okay. Just check. Uh, it's catching slightly down the bottom. Yeah, okay. We have to take a little bit more off the back edge. I do like to get them to fit really close if possible. The closer they fit to the fan, the more suction they have and the more air they're going to push around your engine. That's really important. 